Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Spearman Row, also known as the Spearman's Rank Order Correlation, Spearman's Rank Correlation or Spearman Correlation using Python 3 and I'm doing this in Jupyter Lab. Now it's um, a correlation coefficient that I would use if I have an ordinal and a scale variable. There are some debates if that's the best one or not, but it's the one I would use. Um, it varies between minus 1 and plus 1. Uh, a perfect uh, zero would mean that there is no relationship at all and a one that there is a perfect relationship. To see if the value is closer to zero or one, Rhea and Parker suggest this rule of thumb interpretation table. To show you how this is done with Python, I need an example. So I'll load the example file as a pandas data frame. So I'll first import pandas. If you've never used pandas before, use an exclamation sign pip install pandas and it should install for you. Then I can use the read CSV to load my CSV file which has the data. The head will show just the first five records. Now this was a survey among students uh, about all kinds of things from a course and the ordinal field that I will be using from this one is teach motivate which was if the teacher was able to motivate the student and as a scale variable the overall grade which was the grade that the students gave to the course. I'll load those as two separate uh, variables so I don't have to select them every time. Let's have a few uh, look at the options so I see now here that these were indeed labels uh, rather than numbers and we do need to transfer them to numbers. So what you can do is you can create a coding as a dictionary. So the curly brackets and then uh, I use fully disagree is 1 and fully agree is 5. If I have that coding I can make a new variable, a uh, new field uh, which is teacher motivate recode it and then I can simply replace the values. That way I keep my original values also intact. Let's have a quick look if that worked with value counts and indeed uh, there were 20 students who gave it a 1 which was fully disagree. Now there are a few different packages that we can use uh, uh, for example uh, pandas own function or scipy but we then do need to remove the missing values and let's simply create a new data frame with just those two variables uh, or two fields if you like and then drop the missing values. Now uh, what we can do with pandas is simply use new df we already loaded pandas and then use the function core and specify that we want Spearman and that should give us the Spearman correlation coefficient and in this case it's 0 0.7872. You notice it's seeing there twice because it's doing teacher motivate versus overall grade and also the other way around, teacher motivate versus overall grade, and those two are of course the same. The correlation between the f uh, any field and itself is uh, one, but we can ignore those. Um, it doesn't show the significance, um, so the side by stats package will actually do that, so I'll first need to load side by stats and specifically the function Spearman R. Now I can use this function and let's have a look what that returns. The same result, 0 0.78719, uh, which gets rounded to 2, so that's the same as up here. And now it nicely also has the p-value in scientific notation, so this means um, uh, put about 10 zeros before this and then a zero dot, so it's extremely small. So this is very... Uh, a low significance, which is a good thing usually, and the correlation coefficient is 0 0.787. So this indicates that there was a positive relationship between the two variables, which was uh, how much they thought the stu teacher was able to motivate them and the overall grade they gave the course, which kind of makes sense. Um, it's also significant because it's uh, below the usual threshold of 0 0.05, so, and we could classify that as strong. We can also let um, Python do that classification for us if we just convert that table into a bunch of uh, ifs and elif statements. So then you get the same result, strong. Now SciPy isn't the only package. We can also use Pingoian, for example. So if I import core from Pingoian, um, then I can actually use that one and 
we get the same results again including again the both the p-value and the correlation coefficient also the number of um, cases that we have you can also use research by so that's using the core case and that actually only uses data frame so you have to use the data frame there again specify method is spearman and you get only the uh, you get the correlation coefficient sorry and you also get the significance which is well 0 0.000 that indicates something below very very close to zero uh, there are probably some other packages around there but um, these are a few of the options you have now if you like in the appendix I'll go over the the hard way so where I try to avoid packages as much as possible I'll leave a link to this Jupyter Notebook in the description. So if you like, you can have a look at there where I go over all these formulas. And um, it runs and it should eventually give the same result. I do use one package for the um, to actually get the, the, um, the p-value, sorry. Um, so that's in here. Uh, but that's the only one. There's also actually a normal approximation if you like um, and I made a small function for myself where I can just feed uh, a data and the two f fra uh, fields and then it simply uh, returns to me the, the results the correlation coefficient and also the significance and also the qualification Okay, uh, I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.